Well, the usual sea of red here in this spectacular venue has been turned white as we are high above snowy GEHA field at Arrowhead Stadium in KC. It is week 16 in the NFL, and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. You look at this Cowboy defense. They were excellent last week in the win over the Chargers. have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw. They ended up getting four sacks in the game, stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire time, made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. And that's what they told us this week, that pressure on the QB is key. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he's got this pass the 35 to about the 37. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. In motion right, that's Hyatt. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. The Chiefs in trouble to start play, six and eight on the year. Now they were losers last time out, trying to turn things around here in this one. And it always helps to have a home crowd behind you, giving you encouragement as long as you give them. Dashing through the snow. Look at the big man rumble. And Touchdown number seven on the year. And the Chiefs get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. Boy, these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. in the midst of a winning streak that's now stretched over multiple months, not weeks, months. I think the challenge they put upon themselves is we want to be the guys to end that streak. And what's working in their favor, the winning streak on the other side. Sometimes that carries a burden with it because they feel like they have to play perfectly as well. Let's just go out there and get this the And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run down the switch. Oh. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. And the Cowboy first down. What? What do you say? Come on, come on. Hey. I don't know, babe. Now they'll switch it switch up here. Look to throw. Going up top. This nigga called me switching. What you doing, home? Cowboys. A big play there. Huh? 52 yards. 
What are you doing the home? I thought that was all day. You know what? Why? Each team's had it. Each team scored 7-7 here as the kicks away. Now do a skim and skim. Here comes a return from a step in the end zone. How do you think he did? How do you think he did? What do you mean Brad not talking about? The Chiefs are fans about Because I ain't no math too. Today was the math. Today was the reading in the math. I ate that at the, uh, maybe I ate that reading section up. That math section beat me till I was through. I mean, uh, there's nothing I can even say about that. Because, you know, I can't even express why. Because I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, I should be so Like, dear Lord, you know, it's in your hands. I don't understand this. I bet you can cut. Second, was getting easier. My coach was getting easier. Yeah, that's no problem. I thought maybe when he caught he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. Now how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll run for it. Chuck. Get out of here, man. Might have even lost a yard. Boy, oh. a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And it'll be a turnover on downs. That's not going right through. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. You talk about this Chiefs defense. They find themselves just a couple of spots outside of the top ten defending the pass number two in the league. I think if you talk to their head coach, you'll get a nice answer about how much he likes his team and what they're doing. But at the end of it, he would admit there's definitely room for improvement. is aggressive we saw that last drive they went for it on fourth down didn't get it then they give up the touchdown so now you feel like they really need to respond here they certainly do but let's face it sometimes when you take that risk you understand if you fail a little more bonus goes back on your ball to try to pick themselves back up great way to start the drive 20 big ones in a first down Chuck. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down. Good running. 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 Good running.
Second quarter from Arrowhead, it's the Chiefs in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Stop me on the floor. Man. They say he's just short. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And the Cowboys defense is going to get him the football back. The Dallas offense here is set to begin the drive. And their last two drives, both inning and touchdowns, it's got them this 14 to 7 lead. And it looks to me, and I think you're probably seeing the exact same thing. They're in an ideal spot now. They create some separation. The way that they're functioning on offense now, they can create a pretty good gap. That's your defense to play with more of our confidence. And that big article on the paper this morning about them stringing possessions together for consecutive touchdowns. And right here, they're trying to make it three in a row. Let's go. I'm in this game. I'll hit you back. Warriors 
I'm a poor baby, you, you, you enemies. Yeah, we're like seeing really the contact. Yeah, I hear Yank, hear Yank. Come on, Yank, come on here. I'm sure I ain't going to be poking up with you. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. The lone man in the backfield here is Chubb on second and goal. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. They get it to him running left. And this time he is in. Nick Chubb, his eighth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Chiefs have broken our tie as they take the lead. McPherson now for the extra point.
It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And taking it down just past the 20, about the 21 yard line. Here set to begin the drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers to get some. It's all right, guys. We're going to lean on the big bad. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Ooh, come on, baby. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. First down now with that clock rolling. They'll look to throw. That was too easy. Terry McLaurin, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Elliott Good on the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Going deep this time for... Damn, I knew I should have this is Just run the ball. This is why I lose. Do not play smart. Oh. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. They'll be hit and taken down at the 21. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, that is the field goal here. The kick by Elliott was good. I did not play smart. For this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Not too many breaks ahead, according to the radar. More snow on the horizon as we are back underway in half number two. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And not a great return here. Ten 
Oh, I thought he picked that. Oh, wow.
And Chubble trying the middle here. And he's got it to about the 40. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Hyatt goes in motion left. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They'll send a receiver in motion left. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. Now he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter. As he'll go for it on fourth down. Going quickly out to the right side. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down. And he'll get it by right play. A gain of eight on fourth and one. They've been burned twice already on fourth down. But the third time's the charm as they keep the drive moving. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and ten. They go up the middle with Chubb. And he's able to mow his way down to the 16-yard line. 54 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. That run's successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it, and that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. That's caught. And the Chiefs are going to be set up for the first and goal on a pass play that moves all the way down to the road. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. 21. Chubb. We'll take this one in. It's a Chiefs touchdown. Oh, we're getting set up for what should be a great fourth quarter. This has been a hard-hitting game because both teams have punched and counter-punched equally well. And here's a good finish to this drive. A touchdown run here late in the third quarter. Extra point by McPherson. Something good. And the lead is down to a field goal. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here for the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line into the corner.
The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that? Well, you don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense on balance. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. On second down, Swift. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here in week 16. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. In motion left, Hardman. Well, it's a shuffle pass, and it's complete. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they went back on the heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Let's make it to this guy Smith. It's a game changer. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Back to throw now on first down. Come on, baby. Let's get that. was very confident his ability to fit that one in. I would say it was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Ah, this pass from get up. And going across the middle. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 37. 17 yards on the pick up there, and the drive will continue. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 37-yard line. They'll set up a throw. I'm get that. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. You got to get that stuff, please. Second 
touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Cowboys will add to their fourth quarter lead. Elliott good with a PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Herbert off of play action. Hyatt has got it. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Here's Herbert. Dancing to his left. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here comes second down at five. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. A short throw caught by Andrews. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. On first down, they'll run with Chuck. As he'll take this down to the 30 yard line. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. It doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. Oh, man, what? And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it under a minute to go now in the football game. For the elements, the crowd, the situation, this is NFL football at its best. Here's third down. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to line up incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. McPherson's kick is good, and this is back down to a seven-point game. Well, no field goal attempts for him until the final quarter, but no hesitation on his end. He comes right out and nails his first field goal try. I give him a lot of credit, too, because he stood there the entire ball game, but he's managed to stay with it both mentally and physically. When they called on him, he was ready, and he knocked it through the post. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they had the ball back, unfortunately, they took the yes. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when the team's expecting an outside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. 
I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams 93% of the time, you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number. Is Man. Well. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Hey, look. What you back there doing? Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. That one looks like he'll throw here. Oh, can't get a throw. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. It has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured. You back to run this clock out. I'm going to move on to this Yeah. <laughs> 
atmosphere this was and the home team getting the lead touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what a real estate people tell us all the time, it's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead, that home field advantage. Thank you. 